The Bucknell men's basketball team returned to action Tuesday night to host the Siena Saints at Soika Pavilion. The game was a back and forth battle between the two squads as the contest featured 12 lead changes. He'll stop left elbow and back it out. Now we'll go inside with a spin move layup and Siena has the lead again. He back toward Haas, draws contact, throws it up with the left hand no good. On the back side though, Nana Fallon does a good job. He pass over to Brown, deep left corner from McClay. He'll go in the lane, stop, pump fake, go up for a tear, drop up and good. This being, he'll go down low for an easy 10 footer. It's in and out, no good. Rebound though, up and good for the Saints. Instead, Haas back on the floor for Bucknell. Gets bummed, goes with an underhand scoop shot with the right hand on the left baseline. That was incredible. The rebounding board. Here's Bisping. Great move for a 10-footer. It's good. It's definitely a defensive kind of game here, and we didn't expect that. Here's an alley-oop, and it's a jam. Second alley-oop to Ogan Yimmy. Trailing 65-60 with under four left to play in the second half, Ryan Frazier found an open Stephen Brown for the triple to cut the deficit to one possession. Following a made free throw from Siena, Brown would knock down a pair from the stripe to only trail 66-65 with 1.32 left in regulation. Under 20 seconds to play, Chris Haas is fouled while driving to the basket. He would head to the line where he would knock down both tosses to give the Bison a 67-66 lead. Next possession, Siena's Brett Bisping was fouled to send the Saints to the line. Bisping connected on his first attempt, but missed on the second, giving Bucknell an opportunity to go for the win. Frazier would get a shot off before time expired, but missed the basket to send the game into overtime. The two teams exchanged baskets in the opening minute of extra time, but a three-point play from Nana Fallon gave Bucknell a 72-69 advantage. For this year, he hits the free throw, and Bucknell has tied its biggest lead. Sienna answered with five straight points to regain the lead. Wide open, long for a layup, up and no good. Tap by Sienna Zoganyemi, up and good. Again, Bucknell tied the contest at 74 following a layup from Fallon and would take a one point lead following a Frazier free throw. Trailing 81 79, Haas would hit the game tying layup with 13 seconds left to play. We're tied at 81. Sienna possession, Marquise Wright would find Javion Ogunyemi for the go-ahead layup with two seconds left. Bucknell had one last look at a basket, but was unable to connect, allowing Sienna to hold on to the 83-81 overtime victory. The Bison returned to action on Saturday with the trip to Penn State. Tip-off is set for 1 p.m.